subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. So first and foremost, right at the start of this video, you see there's a lot of people, and I want to pr I'm about proving people wrong. I am about proving people wrong right here on the show. I want everybody to show and prove that you're legitimate, that you're credible, you're real, and that you're authentic. You see, my doubters, the haters, the skeptics, the trolls, they say I, I have fake subscribers. I have fake fans. They say that they're all bots. Well, I want everybody right now to prove that you're real. I want you to comment below saying you're a real subscriber or that you're real. I want you to actually type up something because, again, there's this belief that, oh, I've caught Sean. He bought views. He bought comments. He bought subscribers. He bought thumbnails. Hell, even bought my family to, out to eat to drink, too. He bought my family uh, f out for Christmas. He bought my family out that... I want everybody right now to prove that you're a real subscriber to the channel. Leave a comment in the comment section to show that you're real and that you're authentic and that you are organic. Okay? All right? Because everybody thinks that I bought 100,000 subscribers, which is ludicrous and ridiculous. It's sick. It's, it's really sick. Okay? But let's get into the news, the rumors, the headlines. I just want everybody in the comment section to show that you are indeed a real person and that it's not AI and you weren't bored out. Thank you very much, guys. And, and I know you'll show it in the comment section below. Now, Bobby Lashley's AEW status is proving to be clearer and clearer as the weeks and the days go on. Now, we addressed this old Bobby Lashley AEW in the last video. But it would appear as if AEW and Bobby Lashley are coming even closer to a deal, according to rumors and headlines online. Now, do you think Bobby Lashley would be better suited for WWE, or should he debut in AEW? Now, listen, Bobby Lashley is no stranger to other promotions, other wrestling companies. He's been in TNA. He's been in ECW. He's a former ECW champion. Bobby Lashley is also a former champion in WWE in his own right. But speaking about champions, guys, we got some sad news to report. Dakota Kai has, looks as if she has suffered another injury. Yes, Dakota Kai has suffered yet another injury, and she will be sidelined for an undetermined amount of time. Also, what is the big singles push on SmackDown? Breaking news, guys. Montez Ford is not being ruled out or not being given up on a singles run on the blue brand on SmackDown. Your thoughts, your comments on Montez Ford. Now we got a lot of breaking news as it concerns Randy Orton and Gunther. Now obviously, we're hearing rumors and speculation about the stipulation. What is going to be the stipulation for that match? What stipulation is Gunther and Orton going to compete under? Now, we already know that the World Championship is on the line at Bash in Berlin in just a few weeks' time on Peacock and the WWE Network everywhere else. Now, everybody would love to see Randy Orton win, but the big goal here is not Orton winning the World title, and we're going to get into the stipulation. Not Orton winning the World title, but feuding with the undisputed WWE Champion Cody Rhodes on SmackDown. Now, we all know that Randy Orton is a SmackDown star, but he is on Monday Night Raw for the time being. And listen, this is going to be a great match. Make no mistake about it. Win, lose, or draw, Gunther and Randy Orton is money. It is absolute money anywhere you go. It doesn't matter if it's in the States. It doesn't matter if it's out of the States. It is money. Now, although Orton may not win, and although the last match these two men had, there was not a clear-cut winner. Gunther did not defeat Randy Orton. It was controversial, and uh, it got a lot of people talking. So that is why this rematch is now happening. But, again, the ultimate goal is Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes. Now, we, were gonna get, we thought we were going to get that at SummerSlam, but obviously that did not happen. However, in a backstage report, according to those in the know, Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes is slated for 2025. But the WWE could, could have Orton and Rhodes. 
where Rhodes gets the victory, and then Randy Orton turns, and then it will be a long, drawn-out feud between Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes. But that's that's then, that's then that's about coming up. We're talking about Gunther and Randy Orton. What is going to be the stipulation? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the stipulation looks to be a match, quite frankly, that we have not seen in the WWE in a very long time. I'm not talking about NXT. I'm not talking about TNA. I'm not talking about AEW. Hell, I'm not even talking about Raw or SmackDown. I'm talking about on WWE TV. Three stages of hell. Randy Orton challenged for the world title versus Gunther on the red brand. Now, how is Randy Orton going to lose this contest? Is Randy Orton going to lose straight up? Or is there going to be some cheating? Is there going to be some conniving? Is there going to be some manipulation? I don't know. But all I know is what are you looking forward to? Three stages of hell. Randy Orton, Gunther, one-on-one. That is going to be incredible. And the first match is reportedly going to be a singles match. Straight up wrestling match. Where Gunther says he'll break Randy Orton's spirit in the first match. And then in the second fall, the second match, in this three stages of hell, and again, plans can change, and that's why we do multiple videos a day, because again, plans can change. Make no mistake about it, plans can change. But the second fall would see Randy Orton Gunther be a first blood match. Yes, you heard right, a first blood match, or in Gunther in three stages of hell. And if... If necessary, the third fall will take place in a submission match, an I quit match. Randy Orton, Gunther, one on one. Can you imagine what that is going to be like, viewers? Who's going to get the fall and who is going to have their hand raised in the end when it is all said and done? But ladies and gentlemen, that is not all because now in bonus coverage, in bonus material, viewers, Jey Uso is not interested in returning to tag team wrestling amidst his singles success. And why should Jey Uso want to go back to the tag team division? He's already done it all and won it all in the tag team division. Now it is time to raise the ranks for the singles division for one Jey Uso. Are you a fan of Jey Uso? Again, guys, we always put the show in your hands. Your comments, your opinions, your typing. Ladies and gentlemen, AEW has nixed a pitch for the new House of Black member unveiled. Sammy Guevara and Tay Mello enjoy their two we- their two year wedding anniversary. Enzo Amore in the WWE. What is going on? Is Enzo Amore going to make his way back to World Wrestling Entertainment? Many people said that CM Punk would never return. Many people said that a lot of wrestlers would never return, and they did. One way or another, they always came back. Well, Enzo Amori claims that he once got fired from WWE for breaking wind. And if you don't know what that means, you might want to look it up online. Scott Diamore's Maple Leaf Pro Wrestling announces its revival with First Show. Now, if you know anything about TNA and Scott Demora, you know the history. Triple H, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news on the game. Triple H, will he will he have a to do do a to do in the Gunther Randy Orton contest? And Indy Star guys has called out Bobby Lashley as WWE contract nears expiration date. Yes, Bobby Lashley has indeed been called out already. Triple H, excuse me, breaking news on Triple H and the good old JR, Jim Ross, who if you saw AEW, Jim Ross was not looking so good. I'm actually very worried. I am very scared about JR, Jim Ross at this stage. Jim Ross sets the record straight on Triple H's alleged gimmick theft. JR is setting the record straight on that. Triple H is the cerebral assassin of WWE, and he became the top name of the company during the late 90s after turning heel. But for a long time now, there were accusations that Triple H stole his gimmick from a former WWE star, and Jim Ross has now addressed such claims. I've heard it about 
I've heard about it vaguely, Conrad, but I'm not sure how accurate that assumption is. I just thought it was a no-brainer. He was the next great heel, and that fact he proved. He had an amazing run as the amazing character, and he drew a lot of money for WWE. He established himself, talking about Triple H, as a main player. So I never picked up on the connectivity between Triple H and Shane Douglas. Triple H and Shane Douglas worked together in WWE during the same period in the 90s, but they never crossed paths. Regardless, Triple H's heel gimmick will always be known as one of the best in the business, and that's never, ever changing. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. So, guys, that's your top headlines, your top news and rumors. If there's more to come, we will cer certainly provide you the coverage here on the Brash and the Brazen, where we raise the bar to higher heights, new levels, with all of you following Sean. Remember, <laughs> excuse me, become a channel member today and help secure my future right here on this very website. Subscribe.